What's up, my caffeine people? How y'all feeling, man? So what we doing, man? Turn that fire off? I know, right? No, actually, man, let me play it one more time, man. For all the people that just walked in here, hey, Rich One, I'm going to play it one more time, bro. So we see what's going on, okay? So we see what's going on. Proud Boys, man, come on, bro. Yo, man, honestly, bro. Nah, 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 nah. I can't let these devils burn nothing to mine, man. No. Uh-uh. No, no, no. They've been doing that for too long, man. You know what I'm saying? They're killing little girls. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking, yo, do you realize the shit they've been doing to us over the years, man? Fucking castrating us, hanging us on trees for every little thing. They're talking about we whistling at white women, all kind of weirdo shit. Don't give a fuck about them women, yo. What's you talking about, man? Hella insecure, man. Treating us, yo, bro. Yo, man. Need a small man. It's called Strange Fruit, man. Hanging from the trees, man. These are ancestors, man. Like, no more, man. Like, these proud boy, yo, man. And then on top of it, they're so, like, they're so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, 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 genetically recessive anyway, man. You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm saying, y'all. If, if we, you know what I'm saying, like I say, man, just let's just defend ourselves. Somebody call in if you got something to say, man. 424 261 3107, man. This show don't happen without you. You know what I mean? This show don't happen without you. How y'all feel, man? Like, how y'all feel if Proud Boys came to y'all hood? Y'all talk to y'all local gang members? Talk to y'all local gang members, man. You know what I mean? Talk to them, man. Talk to the local, you know what I mean? Um, even the church, even the, the heads of church. Like, you know what I mean? What, do, what are we going to do about this threat? You know, what I mean? it's a threat out there. Matt, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Now, what, something I'm about to show you. This came up. All right, boom. So, states at moderate risk for militia activity. Now, now I'm gonna be honest with you. This was around the election time, so I gotta be a, all the way a hundred with you, man. My opinion is I never wholeheartedly stood behind the Black Lives Matter. Regardless, regard, they, me neither, but regardless, we, they still attacking our people. You feel me? And so at the end of the day, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Or I don't, I don't mean it like that, but you tack us one, you tack us all. That's what I mean to say. Yeah, I mean Cali. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, Cali right here. Um, so listen, right here, th these are the states for moderate risk for military activity. Now, I ask, I ask anybody... Um, in law enforcement, I ask anybody in government, what do, what should the civilians do about this? What should the civilians do? These are states at moderate risk for militia activity, specifically due to Donald Trump. Okay. Specifically, because this is centered around the election. And although the election was a couple of weeks ago, these maggots still think it's going on now. Okay. So these are moderate, moderate. OK, so you look at the states. I'm going to go over the cities, man. Greensboro. Right. Fayetteville. Is Fayetteville in North or South Carolina? Greensboro, Fayetteville. Uh, I may even say Charleston because I know it's in South Carolina, but still the same area. OK, all my brothers in Dallas, all my brothers in Houston. OK, possibly even San Antonio right here. All my brothers in the DMV area. I know to say Virginia, but somewhere in the DMV area. California. Now, this ain't going to be in L.A. They're not coming to L.A. I'll tell you that right now. These militia, they're not coming to L.A., but they'll probably be down in Orange County. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Maybe somewhere in like Fresno, Bakersfield. You know what I mean? All right. And then, boom. And then New Mexico. It's just, it's wild. If you notice, man, it's wild, like, um, it's areas where it's wild, like, um, like, like, like rural areas, you feel me? Where they can shoot at cans and whatnot. You know what I mean? They're outside the city. Yo, Palmdale, yeah, Palmdale might get turned up over there. There we go. All right, so I want to show you guys that. And then that's moderate risk. Here's high risk. Check this shit out. Whoops. High risk. High risk. Look at that. Get a bar. Pacific Northwest. Pacific Northwest. Philly, where the election was, 
Georgia, where the election was, Michigan. These are the three states of the black people came out and voted in. Yeah, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, specifically. Remember, remember one of them Trump dudes got their head blown off up there? It went down up there. It went down up there. And then you got West, even Wisconsin. Like, here, 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 here. That's where the election was. That's where, that was the battleground of the whole election. That was the battleground of the whole election. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Real shit. So, I just want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you got to just be careful. That's all I'm trying to say. And I ask, I ask any government agency, any law agency, what what should civilians do? Just sit there and just let us be targets? You know what I'm saying? Is that, is, is, is that you know what I mean? Like, because I don't want to speak radical. I really don't. I don't. I don't want to be, I don't want to be an alarmist. You know what I'm saying? But what do we do about this, man? Because we have the right to, to you know what I mean, for, for self-preservation in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Exactly, bro. So, you know what I mean? Somebody call in and tell me what you think, man. I set the table. Time for y'all to eat. <clears throat> oh, so we just got news coming in. So, all right, for y'all that don't know, man. Uh, for y'all that don't know, here, actually, let me do this. So, today, just today, Donald Trump, let me see, let me put this picture up there. All right, so I'll put this picture up. Now, remember, just today, the Electoral College they finally uh, uh, officially put up their vote today. Officially, the Electoral College put their vote up today. This is a new story coming out of... I'm going to read it to you. Check this out. Credible threats of violence prompt closure of Michigan capital. Remember I showed you Michigan? Michigan? They closed the capital of Michigan today. Credible threats of violence prompted the closure of the Michigan capital right ahead of the electoral college vote. Now that I don't know if y'all watch CNN, but that's been happening today. They went, yo, they had to shut this thing down because these crazy anarchists, man, these militias, these anti-Americans. All right. Credible threats of violence have prompted Michigan authorities to close the state capitol to the public and shutter House and Senate offices. A spokeswoman said on the day Electoral College was declared for Joe Biden as a president. What do you think would happen if that happened under Obama? What, like, they trying to get Obama out of office and then all of us show up there and they have to shut down this stuff due to violence. Like, do, like the the... the the level of white privilege that they have is unreal. They would have came down with the federalities would have been on us. Are you guys kidding me? Are you guys kidding me? We would have been, yo, we would, we, hey, whoever had that thought in their head would have been in jail. Also minority report type shit. <sighs> the tension surrounding Monday's procedure, shout out to Rob G. Uh, the tension surrounding Monday's procedure a typically routine event affirming a presidential victory yeah like it's normally like no big fucking deal right was underscored in an interview with a gop state lawmaker who floated the possibility of violence at the capitol and was swiftly stripped of his committee assignments by the legislature by the republican leaders yo man listen yo I know some of y'all don't want to get political, but but the Republicans, those are our political enemies. Now they're trying to declare war on the street. Now they want to be our real enemies. We have to vote, y'all. We can't just sit here and let these devils get this and get that and get yo. We gotta vote, y'all. We have to participate. You know what I'm saying? Because they doing it. They doing it, and now they're trying to res resort to violence because we actually voted. See, that's that part. See, that part right there. That part. Y'all Negroes is telling me our vote don't count. That's what, that's what y'all brothers is telling me. Our vote don't count. 
Meanwhile, the Republicans is mad because we voted and they counted our votes and they can't finagle it. They trying to finagle it. They trying to finagle it and they can't finagle it right now. And so that's what they're mad at. And so because of that, they talking about resorting to violence. Yo, we got to keep our foot on their neck and keep voting, man. Keep showing up. If you're in Georgia, I need y'all to show up for the state runoff. Because this is where the war is. This is where the war is. The war is, what they say, what they say in the Bible, this is not a war of flesh and, blow, of flesh and blood or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What we do after the vote. What's the plan? We know the backstory. Well, first thing is first, you know what I'm saying? We get registered to vote. And then the thing about it is this. Remember, participating in the political process is not just voting. That means you, me, a shine, God bless you, may Allah bless your soul. That may, that may mean you or your man or your kid may have to run for office. That means some of us going to have to run for city council, right? That means some of us going to have to put a platform together. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, okay, sister, there we go. So, oh, we're on the same page. So I'm just saying, like, it's not just vote. Because our, our people is like, okay, we I vote for the white man, and that's it. And I'm done. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nah. We have to participate in the whole political process because the reason why is because we live in a great country. That's why I don't want to overthrow this shit. We live in a, we, hey, we got free, we got, uh, we got all the money, you know what I'm saying? We got all the beautiful people. We got all kind of food, you know what I'm saying? We have freedom of speech, the whole nine. Like, this country's cool. Now, it's been through some shit. It's been, it's, it ain't been easy, you know what I'm saying? And we have to fight for this motherfucker, but at the end of the day, like, I'm American. I ain't trying to go to Liberia. I ain't trying to go to motherfucking Cambodia. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm American, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go over there, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect. I like it here. I like it in Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying? I like it in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I forget my point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I forget my point. This shit popped up in the back. Rob G said, don't play the burning shit. Hold on, let me let me turn this shit on. Yeah, okay, so boom. All right, yeah. So here's the thing. All right, boom. And see, a lot of times our people be like, man, was Biden or Trump? See, it's not just Biden or Trump, man. I mean, you got Maxine Waters. She needed our vote. She and she in the House of Congress. You feel me? Hakeem Jeffries or whoever, the black representative. At the end of the day, we are the 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 especially the men. The women, too, but the men are the ones that are responsible for the community, right? Like, like the women, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm not speaking all people, okay? I'm not speaking all people. It's just, please don't give me with, no, no, I'm not saying everybody. I'm just talking about on, on just a wide variety of things. Just, a, if I'm broadcasting, just broadcasting. The children get education by our women, right? The women teach the kids, right? The men protect the household and protect the uh, Karen Bass and we protect the community in protecting the community. We run for public office and it doesn't just mean president. It could be school board council. It could be student count. You know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be a uh, local legislation. It could be mayors. It could be uh, uh whatever. You know what I mean? It could be police chief. You know what I'm saying? We got to run for this shit. You know what I mean? And then, so therefore when the shit affects our community, we have say so over it. We have say so over it, right? So it's like, boom, um, yo, the local store keep getting robbed. All right, boom, let's do some legislation. Let's get some shit up. Let's get some cameras up. Da 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 da. The police officers are doing this. Let's get some legislation. Let's get these uh, devils up out of here. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We have to be responsible for our own community because we sitting back not voting and and complaining. Like, oh man, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. Meanwhile, we ain't doing nothing. Talking about our vote don't count. You know why our vote don't count? Because our votes are not counting because we're not voting. And we're not participating in the political process. So, so in this situation here, like, look, man, look, man, look, especially, see, that's another thing. We have to live next to each other, right? So if we're in Atlanta, we can get legislation passed on the behalf of all of the so-called black people, Asiatic people, because we all live here in Atlanta. So we can all get, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, man. And then when we tired of the motherfucking fentanyl coming into the neighborhoods, da da da. We gotta do this, da da da. We tired of da da da. Our kids need better schooling. We need more STEM research. You know what I mean? Not enough science. We got da da da. We have to participate. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I say all that to say, y'all, man, we got we got a lot to do. You know what I'm saying? And and one thing we gotta do is holla at the young brothers, man. Holla at the gang members and be like, look, you know what I'm saying? We need y'all to be the front line because 
Proud Boy come in, we call the police. We don't know if the police is with Proud Boys or not. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, uh, uh, Rittenhouse came through with a chopper. This thing came through with a chopper. And the police was like, oh, yeah, 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 ain't nothing to see here. Keep moving, keep moving. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Rittenhouse came through with the K, right? His mom took him across state lines. He came, he shot down a couple of protesters. And then he got taken out, you know what I mean, on a date. And he got some fast food afterwards. So I don't know who's who. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who's who. You know what I'm saying? Wait, no, wait, wait. We gonna call the police? The same one terrorizing us? The same one terrorizing us? We're gonna have to call somebody else. We might gotta call 8 Trey Gangster Crips. We might have to call the essays. You know what I'm saying? Man, fuck Dylan Roof, man. God, I hate that man. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something. Maybe like two years ago, I was reading in an article that it was a brother that snuffed the shit out of Dylan Roof. They were in jail. It was, he was in jail. I forget the brother's name, but the, the, the news report came out that he beat the shit out of Dylan Roof. You know what I did? I put money on that man's books. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I put money on his commissary, man. No lie. I'm not lying to you. No cap. I'm telling you, that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Dylan Roof gonna kill eight elders, man. Why is he still alive? Well, I, I gotta stop. You know what I mean? The death penalty, what I'm saying. He should have got the death penalty. That's what I'm saying. He should have got the death penalty. You know what I'm saying? And so, yo, man, we can't let this shit happen again, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. Like, yo, man, look, if any one of them step foot in your house, you have the legal right to protect yourself. And I'm I'm, I'm, sp I'm speaking within the, the boundaries of the law. Okay? I'm being very careful here. I'm speaking within the boundaries of the law. If they come into your, and they come into your private property, you have the right to blow their fucking head off. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? That's that. You know what I mean? That's that. There are high key terrorists, proud boys, our enemy, real rap. Yes, these are facts. Yo, here's the thing, man. As black people, we're, and, 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 and Mexicans and stuff, we're so loving. We're so like anti hate. Like, we're, we're, we're such great citizens and good Christians and good Muslims. We're like, we're really like. The best of all humanity, in my opinion, man. We're really like we're up there with the Hindus and shit. We're like so peaceful and shit. I mean, a lot of a lot of our brothers, of course, you know what I mean, is getting to a lower self. But for the most part, man, like man, our churches, our, our, our grandmamas are so spiritual. What we don't like to do is we don't like to like teach the fact that listen, here on this physical plane of existence, all living creatures have a natural enemy. The snake has an enemy, which is the bear, right? Or the, the snake's enemy is the eagle. You feel me? Or, or, or you, you know what I mean? The shrimp enemy is the, you know what I mean? The whale or whatever the fuck it is, right? Nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the dog enemy might be the, you know what I mean? Whatever. Nigga, I'm going to ask you this. Who's our enemy? You see, we don't want to talk about that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just because you have an enemy don't mean you have to kill them. But you have to be, you have to, you have to fight in, 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 in the, in the war of the mind. You have to fight in the war of the mind. You got to teach your kids. Like, look, man, you got like the same way. Like a lot of people is like, yo, anti-vaccine. The reason why we're anti-vaccine is because we got duped in the past. We got duped in the past by these same scientists. So that I, I understand why y'all anti-vaccine. I mean, I, I, you know what I mean? I, I'm not anti-vaccine, but you have to be aware of your enemies. Oh, that stretch. You know what I mean? So, man, um, yeah, we are our own worst enemy. That is a fact. But right now, we talking about, we talking about, you know what I mean? Our, our adversary, you know what I'm saying? It says, last night, demonstrators who were a part of MAGA gatherings tore down Black Lives Matter sign. Wait a minute. See, think about that shit. See, y'all think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. Damn, how do I get to this shit? Damn, how do I? Yo, they burned down Black Lives Matter signs. Yo, let me tell you something. People stabbed and shot. Let me tell you something. Listen, yo, y'all ever watch um y'all ever watch uh Michael Che on on um Saturday night Saturday Night Live? That brother on Saturday Night Live? He goes. I'm sorry, I just don't want to sit down for a second. He's yeah, the weekend update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
he did a he did a, a, a what's the name y'all he did a um he did a a, a stand up he did a stand up shout out to love finesse god he said yo how come we can't agree that black lives matter my nigga like like we can't even agree that black lives matter like like god did like matter he was like, he was like, okay. He's like, God damn. He said, okay, at least can we agree that black lives exist? You know what I'm saying? Can we, like, can we at least agree that they exist? Let alone matter. How is me telling you that my life matters is a reason for you to burn it down? That is, that's devil shit, yo. Yo, they're burning it down because we're telling you that our life matters. And they're burning it down. So what is that telling you? What is that telling you? What is that telling you, man? Yo, man, we, yo, in this carnation, in physical earth, we deal with falsehood. We deal with hate. We deal with the lower self. These people represent the lower self. Because them devils don't want us to exist. That's right. That's right, man. I don't want to talk to myself, man. Somebody call me. Somebody call me, man. It's a lot of y'all in here, man. Between here and Facebook, it's a gang of y'all in here, man. Shout out to Bibbs. Shout out to Micah. Shout out to Trigger. Shout out to Don uh, Marie. Tros Poker. Y'all want to talk battle rap or something? <laughs> shout out to Master. Mia Shine. DC Fam. Rasta One, Rob G. Oh, somebody sent me a, um, let's see. Uh, if not, if you don't want to call in, I understand, but go ahead and at least uh, follow. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Protesters at State Capitol. I mean, we got to deal with these devils. Don May, thank you, sister. God bless you. We go live every day at 7 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yo, how can I play this? Mia Shine, thank you. How can I um, play this so y'all can see? Let me see. Maybe I'll go this way. I got all this technology in here. I'm like, yo, man, I'm trying to play this so y'all can see it because I got it. Yo, yo, the person who sent this to me, who sent me this W-I-L-K-S, sent, yo, Text me at this number here. Because this number here, I can shoot it up to the TV. Matter of fact. Let's see. Matter of fact, I, maybe I'll send it to myself. Let's see. Yeah, I, 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 I appreciate all of you guys that want to help and send me information. But y'all are my friends, and y'all sending it to my personal number. Send it to my business number right here. Send it to that number, and I can get it up there much faster. And I don't have to pause like this. Let's see. Joanna. Jo? Jo? Joanna, Jo, Jo, Joanna. All right, here we go. Yo, African music, like like Afro beat, like Afro, like like modern day, like pop Afro music is really cracking these days, huh? You know what I'm saying? You got Burner Boy. You know what I'm saying? You got that Joanna. Like it's cool though, like right? Because normally our music. Gets play out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's happening with Mello? What's happening with Mello? Joanna. Jo? Jo? Whiz Kid, huh? Whiz Kid's hard. All right, let's see. Let me see. I got this. Boom. I go here. All right, boom. I play this. I'm going to cast it to my... Boom, let's cast this. Boom, how I do that? Let me see, go here. Sorry for the down, but the, there we go. Next is player. You know who the GOAT more, he said, you know who the GOAT more is in movie history. Yo, 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 I'm trying to understand what you're saying, brother. You know who the GOAT 
more is in movie history. Yo, what you saying, brother? I wanna, I wanna, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I see more, you know what I'm saying? I'm on it. Like, what you saying, bro? I don't understand what you're saying, poker. The first thing when I hear more in history, I think of the um uh 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 um uh, uh, Martin Lawrence. He was in that movie, and 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 the Europeans kept calling him more. And he was like, man, I like that name. He was like, you know what I'm saying? He used to be calling it, he used to be calling it a nigga. He not used to be calling it a dignified name like a more. Oh, Morgan Freeman. Oh, yeah, the more. Yeah, the more. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, that's right. He's all, yo, Morgan Freeman. He's always that guy, yo. You saw that. Good for you, man. Morgan Freeman, Othello. Yeah, yeah, Othello in high school was the first time I heard more. That's right. What's the star in the background represent? Okay. Five highest principles known to man. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Those are the five highest principles. Now, that star also represents Venus. Now, I don't want to get too esoteric with you, but Venus represents femininity and love in here on Earth. Earth. Venus is our women. Like, you know, the, the sign of Venus is the same sign as a woman's sign. Like, Mars is the same thing as a man's sign. And we come into this Earth as inside the vessel of a woman. Noble Dr. Ali said it's the day that man was born in flesh and the day he left out of flesh. The day he was born in the flesh, we came in as a woman. And, and, and that Venus represents that. So when you see the star of Islam, you know when you see the crescent moon and you see the star? That's science. You see? Islam is science. Okay? That's the crescent moon and Venus. That's the moon and Venus. Okay? That's what that is. So those are the five highest principles known to man. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Trost, thank you for asking that question. Another thing is we, we, okay, we, okay. A lot of our people have been waiting, I don't want to get too religious, but a lot of our people have been waiting on Jesus Christ to come. We've been waiting for some European stringy hair, European Jesus to come and save our and save us ourselves. But guess what? When we came out of slavery, there was a prophet who came to us, but he wasn't European. He was so-called black. He was born in North Carolina, right? And he was the one that, that flew this flag. He told us this flag is over 10,000 years old. That's what he told us. He even says over 50,000 years old, but whatever, he said 10,000 years old. We flew this flag in America before Morocco flew their flag. That's facts. If you look it up, Noble Gerardi came in the 20s. He gave us our flag in the 20s because our nationality was taken from us. We were turned into black Negroes and coloreds. You see what I'm saying? Our nationality was taken from, that's our flag. The same way the Jews got a flag, you feel me? Same way the Irish got a flag, that's our flag. We the Moors, bro. It's all facts. All right, let me play this shit to you. Anytime somebody asks me anything about that, that's 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 that's, that's string music. I can't stay away from that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love that question. All right, let's see this devil talking about. Joanna. Jo Jo. This is today. Michigan State Police tell me that there were no more troopers than normal here at the Capitol today. However, they did make their presence very visible on the Capitol lawn. And now the troopers did hey, not have to get hey, involved Joanna. in the at all. There was a group of about a dozen people who supported President Trump, as well as a few people with Biden signs. One woman who came out to support the electors while they were inside the Capitol voting. I've always appreciated the fact that we have a peaceful transition of power, and this year is the first time in my lifetime that that's even in question. The electors are doing their yeah, job. Yeah, I feel you, poker. They don't have a choice in how they vote at this point because the voters of Michigan made that choice back in November. And many of the state troopers were also escorting the electors out of the south. Yo, that's wild, Park. man. I'm telling you, if Obama if Obama was coming in and out of office and we were so mad at the like the, the McCain voters or the Mitt Romney voters that it was a bunch of black men with guns, Lord the fuck have mercy. What do you think they would have done? This shit is ridiculous, man. This shit is ridiculous, man. In which way, the phone number is wide open for you to call. Uh, control TV, radio, and control your minds and narratives. That's why we here, brother. Isn't that right, Rob? That's why we here, man. We got to break free, man. Shots the fuck fire. What would have happened? <laughs> what would have happened? 
Lord have mercy, man. What would have happened? Shush. You know what I mean? It's a family show. You know what I'm saying? It's a family show, man. So, yeah, I'll share that with you. Um, let me see. Uh, no article with it. So, yeah, man. And then also in news today, the vaccine came out. We talk about that later. Uh, oh, this is what I'm working on. I'm working on, um, I'm working on, um, I have a pediat. I'm working on a pediatrician to come in and answer our questions about vaccines. I also, I'm a black pedi. Okay. Uh, you know, fucking with me. You, you already got, to know they black, but I got a, a shout out to poker star. I got a, I got a, uh, uh, I got, and then, and then my home girl, she, she went to like med school. She went to like, you know what I mean? Georgetown on some science shit. You know what I mean? And she's going to come in here and she's been administering shots and stuff. She's going to come in here. And matter of fact, it's Craig. If y'all saw Craig yesterday, his wife is into, um, you know, science and all that kind of shit. She a nurse and all that kind of stuff. And she has something. She wants to answer our questions about, um, 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 vaccines. Okay. So we got to dispel some of the rumors. You know what I'm saying? I saw minister Louis Farrakhan this weekend and in my 41 years of living on this earth, I've only disagreed with the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan one time. And that's over the vaccine outside of that, I, everything. And then I, I put it in the little comments. I was like, yo, in my 41 years, there's only been one thing I disagreed on. The minister raised me, but there's one thing I, I, I disagree on. It's the vaccine. And oh man, the nation is, I'm sorry, lighting me up. Oh, you's a house nigga. You this, you lost, you that. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas are part of a cult or something. You got to agree with a hundred percent of what your leader says. Like, are you crazy? Like, yo, I agree with everything except for the virus. So, I mean, the vaccine. So just because of that, and it's my body. I have the right to disagree with the virus if I want to. So shout out to Na shout out to the nation of Islam. You know what I mean? I mean, no, no, no. I mean, honors to the nation of Islam. I mean, high honors to the nation of Islam. I'll never disparage them brothers. But, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You feel me? Like, I just, I stand on my own feet, whether I disagree or not. You feel me? I stand on my own too. And right now, I'm with the, I'm rolling with the vaccine. And so what I want to do is, I want to bring in business. I'm See, I haven't made up my mind all the way, but I'm leaning that way. I want to bring in, um, no, nah, I want to, I am going to bring in um, medical professionals. So you guys, make sure you follow. And I'm not sure when that, when that show will be but probably at the end of this week, okay? So if you want to, yo, Cliff, what's up? So if you guys want to call in and ask questions about the vaccine, now come with an open mind. Matter of fact, come with a closed mind, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And just get ready to, you know what I'm saying? Just get ready to people answer your questions. Folks are. That's the main people. People are too binary with their thinking. That's right. I'm happy that you're respectful to all people. Keep using your voice. Thank you, Hendrix. Alright guys, I've been on about an hour. Ain't nobody calling in. I think I'm gonna bounce up out of here. Um, if there's anything you'd like to say, now is the time. Uh, I told y'all it was gonna be quick. Man, y'all used to me going two and a half hours. Not tonight. What's the topic? Let me show you. Alright, thank you for the phone call. Thank you for the phone call. What is your name and where you from? What up, this is Hendrix Hawkins. What's up, from Hendrix? Here. What up, man? What up, man? How are you doing today, man? Oh, thank you, brother. I'm a little tired, man. I was up all night studying, and then, like, I just didn't get much sleep. I'm pretty tired, you know? I think that's everybody, because, to be honest, I haven't been able to sleep for, like, the past two days, man. Damn. You know, and, um, I got a little sleep. I say, out of the past two days, I probably got, like, five hours of sleep. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to complain about that, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of people's people have been restless their whole life. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So just miss a little sleep for these two days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't okay. nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. With the restlessness, um, that, that's something I want to speak about first. Um. Oh wait, hey, let me say this. Let me say this real quick. Okay. Hey, Cliff. We're talking about what happened in D.C. So when Hendrix get off the phone, maybe you can call in and give us an eyewitness account on what you've seen in the streets of D.C. Because you asked us a topic, that's what we're talking about. Mm. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Hendrix. Mm-hmm. I would say shout-out to everybody that's watching as well. Uh, Ali is, like, on top of his game as far as what he want to do, you know. I just want to say that as well. Thank you, bro. But it's... As far as the restlessness, 
Um, you don't gotta thank me, man. That, that's your talent, bro. Like, I thank you for just being able to express it, you know. But um, restlessness, like we all been restless, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, through the entirety of every process that we ever had to endure, you know, we didn't got tired, you know. Everybody get tired. So with that being said, I am tired of seeing this, you know. Um, I'm tired of seeing tyrants because th this is what this is. This is tyranny, you know. Um, they they say don't be a, a vigilante against the law, but when and I'm gonna just be honest, when certain people do it, it's okay. That's right. Because they find fault in the situation, like oh, you know. Whoever could entice it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you wasn't there. So, somebody could have provoked it, you know. So, somebody could have initiated on the other side. We just can't attack this one side. And with that being said, we all need to be in the streets. I know you don't want to physically be in the streets out there with, with whoever you feel like is out there that will bring you down and whatever mission that you have. But at the end of the day, if your mission is to share it with the world, which all of our mission is, if like you are a law-abiding citizen and you want to make money, you will have to share it with the world for the world to indulge in it, whatever it is. You feel me? So I feel like how you say it, man, as far as our hustlers, our our, our, our organizations in the community, um, uh, the, the uh, even the churches, because I don't really consider churches organizations because there's only one church, you know, but um, I just feel like at the end of the day, that's the only way people can win is when you become one and then you build on that one. We just need to get our one first. We got to stop making all these groups, all these, you know, so-called movements because they be going against our true agenda. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we don't even got our one yet. You feel me? Yeah. We, we, we got to get that first. And, and people be so blind on that, man. And sometimes it just make me sick, bro. And, I, and I've been breaking down all week, like, every yeah. time I speak on something that I'm passionate about, and it's something that I am passionate about, because I, I see systematic racism everywhere, or right. or justice everywhere to all, all to, uh, people of walks of life, people of color, you know, and I'm tired of that, you know, I don't want to see that every day, I don't want to see my black brothers and sisters, my white brothers and sisters, whatever race, I don't want to see nobody go through the pressure of not being able to express themselves. And when they do, they, they get chastised and it's seen in a negative light, you know, and people pick them apart and expose their flaws. So with that, with that restlessness, if people are really tired, we will come together and make that one and, and find an understanding through all of our, you know, um, prerogatives or whatever that we want. And we will find those understandings and come together and put aside the petty differences and those situations that make us tired and, you know, and, and finally get that, um, that energy for the peace that we want, the, the, the tranquility, you know, within our communities. And that's where it starts at, within the community. So, if it, so, I'm uh -huh. so I'm listening to you. So sometimes it, it gets you kind of down, huh? Emotionally, it kind of puts you in a, in, in a bad space. To, to be honest, um, Ali, <clears throat> Just to go off on uh, a, a, an example, I remember when I was younger and they was talking about the presidential debate, you know, Obama, and um, I, I was so excited about that. I was like, you know, we, we get a black president here, you know, Martin Luther King said it'll be this day, you know what I'm saying? And we, we owe a lot to Martin Luther King for that, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the way he just spoke to people and conveyed the message of, you know, his truth, it, it shed a lot a light on society. And it made a lot of people reflect on that. So with that being said, when, around that time that I was supposed to be happy and, and positive about it, I've been down ever since that day. Damn. Ever since that day when Obama got in office, I was down. Damn. And the reason why is because as soon as the, as soon as he got in there, the very first day, they expected him to take action. Yeah. 
and 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 the Republicans and, and our enemies and them, they 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 did everything to make sure he did not take any action. Exactly. He was like in a no win situation, you know what I mean? Like a big job like that, Ali, to be honest, I wouldn't expect nobody to take action on the first day. You know what I'm saying? I, I would I would expect them to collect all of their, you know, drafts and, and their final even their final thoughts and just go over them again. You know what I'm saying? After um being elected in the office and to really see like, okay, these are the people who voted for me. These are the people who didn't vote for me. What do they fit in my plans? And this is what I want to do. Hmm. What do they fit at it? What do everybody fit in these plans? Hmm. And the fact that they attacked him and kind of forced his hand in and take an accident on his first day, I felt disrespected for him. Huh. You know, I, I seen other presidents go on vacation the first day. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. first, very first day they on vacation. I know I know our president, the our current president went golfing more than anybody. Mm. He went golfing over like two hundred something times, they say. And you wanna know why? Why? Cause he's lazy. Cause my first point, they not tired. They're not they're not tired of what what, you know, that side of the system has been doing. They get they got all the energy in the world to do everything else. You know, but they not tired of what they've been doing and that's oppressing everyone, even their own people that's sometimes. Right. Hey, you know what? Uh, on a side note, I was on Caffeine last night and I went to T Watt's page and and he was playing a game. That shit was kind of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. That shit was kind of fun, man. What game was that called? Uh it's like the some like a word, like a some sort of word. Yeah, it's game. like a the puzzle. He, he, it's just like a little uh, puzzle where you know you put like an image together with a word. Yeah, that's, that was pretty cool, man. Yeah, I saw you up in there, man. I got in there mad late. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying to uh, get into it, but like, like I said, I ain't had no sleep, and I, I just like you know being up in there with uh, with him because you know he like I see him as a leader. Like that's a good example. I see him as a leader because before he judged anybody. Or even judge, you know, the situation. He addresses the people. That's right. Good. You know what I'm saying. So, so, so you vouch for that brother? He's a good brother. Oh, most definitely. I ride for him. I'm not gonna lie. Like, um, whatever I do and whatever you know, wherever I, 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 I um, talk to him and wherever he feel like he see fit and what I want to do, uh, I would want him to part of anything that you know I feel like he would want to do, like. For real, because um, it, it's special when you find something like that in these days. Like people yeah. who just, yeah. you know, take time out to really understand people. So, with that being said, this is my final point. Um, that's where the key locks the door. Uh, unlocks the door. No, it locks the door. Okay. The the lack of understanding. Mm. You know, um, people not trying to understand us. Yeah, that's what the that's what the brother Pope Poker Star said in the comments. He just said that. Damn, I didn't even see that shit. Yeah, but like, but like that's what it is. Like they're like, oh look, look at them, look at this, look at this nigga. Like, and I don't want to. What is this? And and then they 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 prejudge and predetermine even our success and hold us back from opportunities based on that you know um, presumption that may not even be true. And, and, we, and, and then it stems back to us and we eventually do the same. You know, yeah. we got to we gotta meet in the middle ground. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? We, we got to be out here just like our church is out here. We got to be out here just like how you said, our community is out here. Because they out here every day trying to do something for the community. And if we don't stand with them and we just watch our community, you know, That's fade right. away, where else? Where else we gonna live at? Can't man. go where they. Man, dude, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right, brother. We can't, man. Before we can't you, go where they before you go, man. I, first. Before you go, man. I just want to make sure that you know what I mean. Like, do whatever you got to do and get some sleep, man. Because that's the, that's the one place where our body repairs itself. You know what I mean? When we go to sleep, 
You know what I mean? That's when we grow and, and heal ourselves. So, you know what I mean? If you got to take some, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, Melatonin. Me exactly, man. How you know? That's exactly what I was going to say. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I've always been like an advocate on, you know, enriching your body body of, you know, um, natural replenishment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ashwagandha, that's right. Because you don't want to get addicted to the shit. You know what I mean? But you want a good night's sleep, man, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, but thanks, Hendrix, man, because honestly, man, I'm tired. I'm going to take one more phone call, and I'm going to get to the house, brother. Take it to the house. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you, man. I feel you. All right, man. Be safe, man. Peace. Right, peace. <sighs> Somebody just... Oh, there we go. Cliff is on it. Mm. Man, Cliff is on it, man. Love you, brother. Thanks for calling, man. Oh, so love was good. Was good. Yo, yo, first hand. So this. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to tell everybody. This picture came from the brother on the phone. He took this picture in DC. What? Yesterday? It was Saturday. Saturday. All right, go ahead, bro. First off. This is all downtown, not really by none of the residential areas. So, like, it's confusing every weekend. Because one weekend when Joe Biden wins, you see the whole city out <laughs> downtown celebrating. Yeah. We bought more champagne <laughs> on that day than the last two, like, New Year's. Damn. Facts. 94% of D.C. straight up voted for Biden. Or, or against Trump, at least. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 so, it's, it's, somebody want to see the picture. It says, fuck off Proud Boys. So it's basically Antifa. It's basically them niggas. We seen, the, not we, but, the, but, but you know what I mean? The Proud Boys was out there, and this is a counter protest. That's what this picture is. They couldn't bro. see it. Go ahead. I was out there Ubering. I picked up these two women from Georgetown. We drove through a little street that was close to Black Lives Matter Plaza. A lot of streets block, blocked off. As we were getting down the street, uh, like uh, two blocks from where this picture is, we start seeing like Proud Boys. Because they got t-shirts that say Proud Boys. Oh, wow. They but they're being they like yeah. big ignorant. It's, it's a lot of traffic, streets are blocked. They're in the middle of the street. Black Lives Matter like, Plaza? Uh, a little bit outside of that. We, we are close to it, though. It's all close to the White House. It's all in, in the same kind of 15 block. Anyway, they're in the middle of the street looking stupid, just <laughs> looking like trying to bully, trying to bully shit. They just, their whole energy is bully energy. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. But they're not in no real residential neighborhood. They downtown, you know, deep trying to just flex their Trump muscle, which which is cool, you know, if you want to march. But you have that political right. You have the First Amendment, free speech, right to assembly. But, yeah, but they but they but they're literally looking to fight. And uh, <laughs> you said, like you wait, wait, hold on. You said they got that bully energy. <laughs> bully energy. They just man. trying to like they trying to find somebody energy. to punk. Yeah. That's yeah, good. but they just don't even, they don't even know what city they're in. Right? It's like, right? Like, it can go real bad right. in the opposite direction. Right? 94% Democrats right. out here. Right? It's just, since, I feel like they just trying to get their steam out because Trump lost and all the Democrats are at home like, man, I ain't going down there. Them motherfuckers, I ain't tripping off them. Man, <laughs> like you said, hey, bro, they make the wrong trip going to Southeast somewhere. It's going to be a bad <laughs> night for them. Well, some of them got stabbed. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish this quick first story first. Okay, okay. So when I'm driving down the street, we, <laughs> see, the, we see the Proud Boy dudes. One's in the middle of the street. The car in front of me, it's like he tries to pull their door to see if they'll open the door. Yeah. Huh. So the girl in my car is like, oh, we got to lock the doors. I'm like, man, it's pre flip. I wish he motherfucking would try to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, he, so after the next car passed, he walked up 
And I just stared him down like, bruh, what we doing? <laughs> so he just backed off. But it's like just a bunch of drunk, angry, like, you see this right here. This is what I was saying. Some people looking peaceful, but for the most part, a lot of people in the street just being ignorant. And we saw across the street a couple of Antifa people, like four. So they were talking shit to each other back and forth. Fireworks like that were going off. Whoa. So then when I pulled up one block ahead, the street was blocked with that whole Antifa group with that picture I showed earlier. And it's like, I ain't never see Antifa as a group before. Wow, right? Me neither. They had, they were fully covered up. And they had, I didn't see one black Antifa person though. I'm nah, that. it's a bunch of little European boys, man. It's crazy, ain't yeah. it? It's crazy. There was, most black people I saw, there was a couple women with the Trump movement. And there was a couple just random black people because DC has a lot of black people. <laughs> like there was uh like the dude oh, I'm about to go into that. Anyway. So when I pulled up to the Antifa group that had the fuck the Proud Boys sign, it's like they sixty deep. Damn. Antifa? Yeah. Yeah. And uh for any of my old school movie heads, if y'all seen Big Trouble in Little China when that nigga had the truck in the alleyway and you saw the two little Asian gangs yeah. and they was about to get it on. The niggas was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw all the proud boy people on the side and we pulled up to that whole Antifa group and it was like 60 deep. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's about to go down. Damn. And it did. Motherfuckers was fighting. Damn. I saw somebody on the side of the curb, um, the Antifa dude. They were real organized. Yo, yo. They had, like, health people. Yo, Antifa had, organized like, as a people. motherfucker, bro. They got the umbrellas. They got, you know what I mean? They got the canisters. They got the gloves on. They they move. They move in low-key militaristic, man. Yeah, definitely. I, I saw some little <laughs> canisters and shit. Some of them had different little uh, markings on to show that they were, like, first aid people. Oh. They were, they were attending the people who got hurt fighting. And we saw that, like, like on the scene, I saw that. <laughs> look, at, look, at this, look at this devil. <laughs> oh, man, I can't stand these devils, man. Go ahead, man. So, um, we finally made it around all that mess just to drop these ladies off at some hotel that's close to the White House. And uh, throughout the weekend, people had different stories. I seen different things. There was a random black dude out there who looked like he just was out there like walking by or something but he was getting he got caught up with a lot of proud boys and they were in, like just talking that trump shit and kind of cornered him and he just looked scared he had a, he pulled a knife out you goddamn right so they said knife 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 and he was trying to walk away one of them hit him in the back of the head yo he turned think... around uh huh uh huh then they then they backed off. Then when he tried to walk away again, they did it again. And they got jumped on him. And he sh and he shanked one of them. Woo! It's one of the four stabbings. Woo! Um, rumor on the street says that dude died, but they're keeping it on the low low. Oh. But maybe he recovered. You know, that's just that's just the guy. So that's what I heard on the street. You know what I mean? A couple, a couple different people told me that one. But they heard he actually died. Cause I think I seen that on YouTube, and I'm looking for it right now. I, I sent it to you on Instagram. Oh, on Instagram, was... Instagram. Okay, 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 okay. I got it real late. I sent it to you real late at night. Okay. Um, I wonder if it's still up. Cause I feel like they try to block some of those videos. But um, then it the, the shit that's weird to me is. The next day, I worked, and I took a lot of Trump people to the airport. Oh yeah, yeah. Did they say and, anything and to you? So successful. What you say? They say anything to you? Not at first, but on the way out, uh, well, the, there was a man and a woman. The woman had a question for me. The fuck she asked you? And she said, um, 
do you really think 94% of DC voted for Biden? Yes, bitch. <laughs> I was like, yes, definitely. Like, 94% voted for Hillary. Obama landslided last time, too. That's because but John. That's because uh, she be John watching. Harry, she be watching Fox News, and she think everything is a Trump fest. She live in a whole yeah. nother universe, brother. She don't know nothing about what's really going on out here, bro. And that's what I. And that's what I got from this whole thing. Because since they're downtown and they're deep and it's peaceful, because this is what you sent me. No neighborhood. This is what you sent oh, yeah, me. This, this is old boy right here. So my nigga got a knife on him. Like, yo, man, these crackers is coming. Excuse my language. But he's like, yo, man, yo, man, they're making me feel uncomfortable. See, he's smart. You get up against the wall. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. No, hold on. Huh? Never mind that. But what I'm saying, anytime y'all surrounded like that, get your ass on the wall. <laughs> get your ass on the wall. Okay? Because when you, when, I remember, I remember the Trump Nobody supporters. Hey, hey, Cliff, I remember, remember we had this conversation like a month ago and the Trump supporters was out there getting caught and he was getting hit upside the head. Remember? And, mm -hmm, same way. Yeah, because they was out there and they trying to fight somebody and a nigga came from behind and back. You know what I'm saying? They turned in the rental like, yo, what's that? Back. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like yo, <laughs> get your ass against a wall like this brother did. And then you can see who's who because you're already outnumbered, my nigga. You, you cut it down, cut it down. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say that, man. Yeah, man. So if you watch this video, he's just like talking <laughs> that shit. Oh, so wait, 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 wait. Before I laugh, oh, hit did, him in the back of his head. Did this guy die? Gotta walk or, out some more. Did this no, guy? He's good. Okay, okay. All right, praise a lot. All right, good. They jumped on him. Ooh. And he shanks one of them. <laughs> and it, the volume says it because when he gets away, one of them's like, "Oh, he stabbed! He stabbed!" <laughs> you wicked! And, and a police officer shows up. Yeah. And they're like, "He has a knife." <laughs> yeah, you tried to. I don't, I don't know if he got away. Man, dude, look, man, that nigga, look. You look. see this? You'll see him. You'll you, see him soon. Your Honor, it was twenty Proud Boys. I felt in he danger. Knows this dude right here. Yeah. Yo, leaking, nigga. Leaking blood. They ran up on the wrong brother, yo. They ran up on the wrong brother. Uh, I wanted to tell you another story I heard today. <laughs> this one bothered me a little more. What's that? Um, There was uh, some, you know, I pick up like people who work in the fucking Senate, whatever, the house, whatever down here anyway <laughs> so I picked up some some people talking about this weekend one of them's kind of a Republican that doesn't like Trump and another dude he I guess he's a Democrat but they were just talking and, and he was saying he was out there during this Trump rally shit and he saw like a family a black family okay it was close close to night and they obviously were just like traveling. They weren't, and they just were unlucky and like in the middle of this shit. Damn. And he said he hated that he saw the Proud Boys like over there, like being aggressive, oh like giving God. them that bully energy. Oh you know my what I mean? God. Yo, that, yo, man, I kind of wish you didn't even tell me this shit. Are you serious? I heard that shit today, bro. Oh and my he said, God. um, he said, and he said, that's the reason why Trump really needs not to finish four more years. Oh, uh, he oh said, cause, yes. Because if he's, he, and they try to keep it real like PC because the, the girls are Republican that, that's talking to him too. Yeah, yeah. And she's hearing him, and the, I low-key think she's feeling Trump, but whatever. She, he's like, man, he hasn't really addressed that energy. Damn. He hasn't really like been like, nigga, don't be on that. <laughs> and he says he kind of caters to that energy, which I feel like so many people believe. And so, uh, that's the whack shit, though. You know what I mean? That's right. You know, sort of just traveling and be in the middle of that shit. You ain't gonna be randomly white traveling in D.C. and people just think you're the Trump supporter and going talk shit to you. Bro. Yeah, like, no, we're not gonna do that, man. We 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 not like that. Right we're not filled with hate. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, we might be motherfucking gang members and shit like that, but we not hateful, you feel me? For the most part, we keep it in the street, you know what I mean? We return whatever fire come to us. For the most part, innocent civilians don't get touched. For the most part, I'm sure they do. But for the most part, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, any which way, man. Yo, man, thank you, man, the for that. two things. Yeah. Some of these dudes, I see a lot of, like, brothers who are very critical of Black Lives Matter, of BLM. Yes, sir. As an organization. Yes, sir. What's your message? I think I'm not 100% crazy about every little thing they represent. But? Get, but. Get to it. What's up? Don't let that hesitation, just for the brothers who feel like like that. Yeah, of course. Don't let, for one instant, y'all think these Trump people are fighting against whatever um, agenda they think BLM has behind it. Because they're not... They're straight up race. Yeah, they're not fighting against Black Lives Matter. They're fighting against black people, period, huh? Is that what you're saying? Period. Yeah. Period. There might be one or two who has a real reason or agenda that they that tries to make sense. They think that um, masculinity is under attack. Yeah. That's why they call themselves Proud Boys. Yeah, Russell One is so right. The Black get, Lives Matter did get hijacked by the LGBTQ uh, community. Uh, go ahead, Cliff. I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's that's literally what it is. Yeah. So I thought it was important to mention that part because yeah. some people think. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fighting for us. Yeah, not and necessarily. It's like they're not. Yeah. They on some racist shit. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I mean, at and this point, thought, at this point, Black Lives Matter is a bunch of you know, what I mean, little white girls that live in Orange County. At this point, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So Good look on this. I see you, Rob. Yeah, Rob G. It's my guy. So yeah, man. I'm about to get up out of here, brother. Thanks for the call, man. You you are you are you are DC reporter, man. You always giving us the the info on what's happening in the streets of D.C., man. Like, real shit. This, this weekend might be a little while. Yeah? Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's, a, like, a another similar event and there's a, a bigger protest event. I'll let you know. <sighs> yeah. But all right, bro. Y'all stay up. Get some sleep. You seem like you ready to tuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. I was up studying astrology all night, bro. Like, I was just, I need some sleep, man.